We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. Number 42 makes his big league debut right after this. Zach Plezak, the right-hander out of Indiana, will be doing the pitching in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, one of the keys to this guy is throwing strikes. He's not a big strikeout pitcher, only averages less than seven strikeouts per nine innings pitched. So he's more of a pitch-to-contact guy, and you'll know if he's on early. He needs to get quick outs early in counts. Off the now in the box, the Victor Reyes. Right He'll get us started in this Victor one Reyes. under the lights. Reyes. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and Fellas, we check out the Tribe as they begin here tonight. They come in playing well. 6-3 and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory First last day. time out. Yeah, Matty B. Hey, d -Row, we're looking at a team who's playing some pretty good baseball right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, 4-1, and one, and looking for some bigger and better things. Yeah, we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager. He was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five. Let's see if it continues today. Now the one and one pitch to one and two now. The short hit hard scooped up throw to first is in time for the first down. With that, let's get you a look at the starting nine for the Tigers. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, someone that's been struggling a bit is Jonathan Scope. He's got only four hits in his last ten games. There's not a lot of positive things that you can say about that. The biggest thing? He's just been inconsistent. He'll get a hit, then go two games without one. Hopefully he can get something together. I like this guy. I'd like to see him turn it around. Cameron Mabin is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. On the year, Maben carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. This is hit sharply to the left side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. That'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch of the at bat on its way and they pitch out here but nothing's going on. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. 2-0. Oh. No. Mabin, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting four. The shortstop. Zico Goodrum. Settling in now. Nico Goodrum. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. From the stretch. One out. -oh. And 
and it's fouled away. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. A runner on first with two away. Off speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. The 3 1. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. One left for Detroit. It's the Tigers nothing. Tribe coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Daniel Norris, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Digging in, Jose Ramirez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. Indian, the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Now here's the pitch. So guys, these Tigers, as they begin play here tonight, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, dropping their last game. Now they find themselves at 500 again. They got to find a way to get on a hot streak. You cannot continue to go peaks and valleys throughout the course of the season and ride that 500 line all year. At some point, you're going to have to take 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 to get this going in the right direction. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. The 0 2 once more. And he popped him up. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, d -Row. And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Standing in now, Oscar Mercado. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Batting average down in the low two tens. Three homers and six RBIs. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. On its way, the 0 2 pitch down the third baseline. A runner at first with no outs here. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Hey, two runners on after back to back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. So here's Francisco Lindor now as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's got that average up over 340 now. Three homers, nine driven in. Now both runners on the move. That evens it up one and one. From the belt, the pitch lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after it is Mabin. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. 
And with that, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the Indians. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, one of their hotter hitters has been Carlos Santana. He had over 90 RBIs last year. What a great season, but I think he could do even better. His goal this year, I think it's got to be 100 runs batted in. He's that kind of a hitter. And that'll bring in Fran Reyes right to him. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. On to the second in Cleveland tonight. No score. Here's C.J. Crone now. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. C.J. Crone. First offering on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, that's off the plate. This one's down to third. Ramirez is there. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. Here's how the Indians are setting up on D. And can we please focus on Francisco Lindor, one of my favorite players in the game? Let's check a few boxes. Charisma, check. Switch hitter, check. Cannon for an arm, check. Hit for power, check. Enough said. Here's Jonathan Scope now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Getting on base, a big problem as you see the average there. Two home runs and five driven in. Now the 1-0 is chased out of the zone for strike one. No score here as we play inning number two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. The 2-2. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. That's so bases are empty here with two gone, and into bat next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. Now here it comes. Counts 1 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. In for a strike, it's one and one. Not the ideal location for a changeup up of the zone, but he got away with it. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The one two. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Batting it. The catcher, Austin Romine. Next for the Tigers, Austin Romine is coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. First pitch on its way. A swing and a ground ball to third. 
But this is foul for the first strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. The one two. Well, he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work. That's 37 pitches, and ideally, he'd be closer to 27 instead. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Hit the other way out toward right field. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Tigers leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Standing in, Domingo Santana, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Domingo Santana. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Yeah. Here's the 0 1. Aye. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. That is good. That Time for a look at the Tigers on D. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. So now Carlos Santana. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. The head-to-head -head numbers with Daniel Norris. He's got five base hits in 25 tries. He also has one home run. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. And that's the second out. Batting seven. The right fielder. Jordan. Luke Lowe. Striding in for the Indians, Jordan Luplo, and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. First pitch on its way. Slapped hard the opposite way. Reyes is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Down in order go the Tribe. We'll move to the third with no score. Jacoby Jones the next to hit and he'll start out their half of the third top of the order to follow first delivery to him on the way and that misses inside one and oh a ball and a strike Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Swing and a miss. Two and two now.
pitch on the way. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And with one away, today, of course, now Jackie back. Robinson right. Day around Major League Baseball. We had a nice ceremony before the game in honor of number 42 as his legacy lives on to this day. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Victor Reyes. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Reyes is a very well regarded defensive outfielder. It used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage, but of course, these days, there are many more advanced ways that help determine a guy's work in the field and in his case he shines in many ways. You know Matty for me I think he does. And this will find the wall now over near the 325 sign and he'll pull into second with one away. Boy after that base now knock back. right there D-Roll he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked staying inside the ball not trying to do too much fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike third inning no score to this point fouled off A ball and two strikes now. Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called a strike. That's one of those that could go either way. The one-two. is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good, hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Into the box now. Miguel Cabrera fouled away. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. The 0 1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North South. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the East West we came up playing. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. From the stretch, the 1 2 belted high in the air out to left and oh he missed a home run by a matter of feet it's off the wall throw to second but he's in there as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play now that, football. that is what every manager is looking for out of the middle of his lineup when you get your three four and five hitters producing this early in the season it can be contagious and everyone in the lineup starts to contribute Stepping in now, Nico Goodrum. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the 1 0. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. A one two pitch. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. 
Tigers get one here on the RBI double by Miguel Cabrera. We play two and a half. It's now one nothing Detroit. Coming to the plate now, Roberto Perez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Perez. Now the pitch. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. So with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ballgame here today. Now at the plate, Tyler Krieger, and he'll make his Major League debut here. Always fun to watch a guy get his career started. Yeah, what a monster moment for not only himself, but his family, all the coaches that have helped him along the way. This is a monumental moment in his career. Though he was always projected as a future major leaguer, actually getting to stand in for your first big league at bat is no small feat. You got to think he's really happy to be here, of course. Yeah, and all he's done since he put on a uniform is find a way to turn heads with the bat. Bottom line is if you hit, they will find a place for you in today's game. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. This is foul right side. And it's fouled away. Here's another one, too. Oh, and that man. one misses badly. It's ball two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Up next for Cleveland. The third base. Riding in once oh, again, man. Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. First pitch coming, here it is. And Ramirez, a native of the Dominican Republic. He's in the midst of his eighth major league season. Two out, nobody on. Slow little roller to third. And he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, that's a nice base hit right there. Way to break up the rhythm. That was almost eight in a row. This guy was starting to get his bearings about him on the mound. Had to break it up. At the plate, Oscar Mercado. A base hit in his first trip. Now the pitch. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get back in safely. And again, a throw, and the runner back safely. Here comes the 0-1. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Grounded to short. Reined in. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. One left for the Tribe. They're down one nothing.
Welcome back to Progressive Field in Cleveland as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. So that'll bring up C.J. Crone. Comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He gave Crone. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0 home. Ball in. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Kind of frustrating as a pitcher when you start an inning off with three straight balls like he has here in the fourth. Makes you start wondering what's going on. Now the three and O oh offering is in there for strike one. In there, and it's full three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouls this one off. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The batter, the second baseman, Jonathan Schultz. So the base is empty here with one away, and that means Jonathan Scope will get ready at the plate. First pitch of the at bat. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. The windup and the 0 1. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Basic pitching right there. 0 2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now, time to go to that curveball down and away. Count even at two and two. Now, here's the pitch. Hit to third. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Yeah, I'm not the sure. Back. This ball might have caught him in between hops. He looked unsure which way to turn his glove, and the next thing you know, it's by him. Runner at first following the error. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Jimer Candelario. From the stretch. Yeah. Now some movement in the tribe bullpen as a right-hander starts to loosen up. And it's quickly 0-2. And another foul ball. One run on three hits and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. 
inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Just hung in there on that one. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Down the first baseline. Santana's got it. One there. Throw to Santana. The double play. And that's how the side is retired. So no runs or hits here as the error turns out to be unimportant. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Tigers one and the Indians nothing. Ready for another chance. Francisco Lindor. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Reyes moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now batting. The designated hitter. Rugby. Reyes. Next will be the designated hitter, Fran Reyes. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Goodrum is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter. No left fielder. No big go. So two gone now for the tribe here in the fourth and that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Swing and a miss and he's in the hole 0-2 now. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Indians go down 1-2-3. It remains 1-0. Stepping in, Austin Romine. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Austin Romine. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball in there for a called strike. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Now batting the center fielder, Jacoby Jones. Into the box now, Jacoby Jones looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. Jones. A 27-year-old, he was selected in the third round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. 
I wouldn't put them on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you now could spot your pitches there and advantage That's counts good. like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. At the plate now, Victor Reyes. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's one for two in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And no swing, apparently, ball one. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Krieger will put this one away, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. But they're on top one to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians hitters to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. Here's Carlos Santana now. Leading He's 0 for 1 thus far. The first baseman, Carlos Santana. First pitch coming. Here it is. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Nope. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. On the ground to third. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Now batter, right fielder, Jordan, Luplo. In now for Cleveland, Jordan Luplo hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Scope on to first, and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. Now batting, the catcher, Roberto Perez. Coming to the plate now, Roberto Perez, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Oh, and one count and the pitch fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. The 1-2. Nope, that's the ball. He went with the off-speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Got 
Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Tribe. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Hunter Wood takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Indians. Number 42, Hunter Wood. Here's Cameron Mabin now. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Cameron Mabin. First pitch of the at bat. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. The 0 1. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Now the pitch. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now batting. Striding forward now is the DH. Miguel Cabrera. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. First pitch on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Right hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. One out, nobody on. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. 2-0 oh. to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. And this is a called strike at the letters. Looked like ball three, but make it 2-1 and one instead. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes the center fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. Now batter. Shortstop. Nico Goodman. In now, Nico Goodrum. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Comes set and the 0 1. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Detroit is out in front, one to nothing. Stepping into the box, Tyler Krieger. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Now batting, third baseman, Hunter Ramirez. Ready once again, Jose Ramirez. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. 
They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat. This guy's been really patient. Now he's in the driver's seat sitting with the 2-0 count. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2 1 pitch. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. No runs, three hits, and one error in the ball game for Cleveland so far. He loses him on ball four. Well, you never want to issue a free pass if you can help it. But when a hitter like that digs in, you'd rather he's standing at first than driving a ball out of here and erasing your one-run lead. Ready for another shot now, Oscar Mercado. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit down the line at first, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch fouled away. Check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The check swing appeal. Hitters rarely feel like they win, and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire, but looking at it, it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. Throw over to the bag, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Perhaps wisely, another look to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. Rolled slowly down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2.
Working for the punch out and the offering. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Two out with the man at first. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Two balls and two strikes the count to Francisco Lindor. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. Ramirez blows through the stop sign. Headed for home. And he will be tagged out at the plate. So it remains a one-run deficit here as the side is retired. Indians leave one. They trail this one one to nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll. Digging in once again. C.J. Crone 0 for 2 for him to this point. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1 0. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Now better. Well, a part of me wants to applaud him for staying with it and making the throw, but. After he bobbled, he should have just eaten the ball and lived to fight another day. As it is, he gets tagged with an air, and a man is on base. <laughs> Digging in, Jonathan Scope. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at-bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, not sure where that one missed, and I'm not sure the pitcher does either. Now the 1-0 is swung on and missed. Strike one. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Mercado is there and he has it for the first out. Now batting the third baseman, Gamer Candelario. So a runner at first now with one away and into bat next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. From the stretch. And that's inside for a ball. 1 0. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Runners on first with one down. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. And it's fouled away. Down the first baseline. 
But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the stretch. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. The 2-2. Two -two. Now a chopper to first. Might only get one. Scooped up to second for one. And the throw is off target there, so he'll reach first base safely. Well, he definitely rushed himself on that return throw to first there, and he threw it away. They got the force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be scored a fielder's choice. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One oh. In his career, Romine is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Now the one and one pitch. Hard hit ball to second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Digging in to try it again. Jacoby Jones. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, Matty. Big time K last time up. And it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Looking to keep this a one-run game. The pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Runners at second and third with two gone. And he lays off for ball one. One and one. Here it is. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. Ball in two strikes. Second and third, two away. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Tigers strand a pair, but they hold a one nothing lead. So here's the cleanup hitter, Fran Moraes. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A 1-1 home. Count is 1-2 and two now. Oh. To two balls and two strikes now. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. 
just out in front of that one still two and two. Swing and a chopper to the left side. He's got it. And there's one down now. Now batting. No left fielder. Come and go. Ten and I. Into the box now. Domingo Santana. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Owen oh, won the count. Now here's the pitch. This is line to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, he now hit that ball pretty the well, but the only pitch. problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. At the plate, Carlos Santana. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Grounded back up the middle. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Indians go down one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. Nick Whitgren has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 42, Nick Whitgren. Ready to begin the eighth, so the batting order turns over now and set to go Victor Reyes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. Way outside. One and two. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. The one-two. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. So now to the plate, Cameron Maben. And he fouls this one off. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Ball. We got one ball, one strike. Fouled off. The one and two pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. 
at the plate Miguel Cabrera as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one so far two for three in this one. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. I got a ball one strike. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers but they're up one to nothing. Riding in, Jordan Luplo. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Oh one. here's the pitch. Chopper to short. Throw will not be in time, so good hustle there is now the possible tying okay. run. Hold on okay. here, though. That was really a close play, so they're checking to see if they want to challenge that safe call. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for that play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on it. Okay, we're going to get one more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? You know, I think there is. The shot right there makes it look like the ball beat him to first. Looks like a well-used challenge. Okay, umpires look ready, and off comes the headset, and he's out. So the original call is overturned, and it ends up being a well-used challenge there. To the plate now, Roberto Perez. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. The one, two. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. Boy, talk about getting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented the tying run. Now at the plate, Tyler Krieger. He's still hitless in the majors after two at-bats. No doubt he'd like to turn that zero batting average into a 333 here. Yeah, I know it's his first game, but after two at-bats, he should be able to slow himself down a little bit. I expect him to have a nice A-B right here. The 1-0. He's looked at for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. The 2-1 home. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So they pick up no runs on two base hits, no errors, and no one left on. We've played eight full. Tigers are out in front, one to nothing. And 
and next it'll be the Tigers cleanup hitter Nico Goodrum he's batting cleanup in this one but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats yeah not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard but you have to give credit to where it's deserved the pitching on the other side has been really impressive fouled away. behind 0 and 2 now just a touch outside one and two stone cold take right there that fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench and it's fouled away The one two is a fastball that misses. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Good battle. Count remains full. The next 3 2. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Stepping up to the plate, C.J. Crone. An error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Oh, and not a swing for the bubblegum card there. It's one and one. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. To two yeah, balls and two strikes that. now. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and all in all he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. Too high ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can going, ill afford going, to start giving away free passes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Runner. He's running again. Now that's popped up. Santana has room in foul territory. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. On to first, a double play. Now that. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool the guy. It's one and two. Hey, this offense is going to have to change their mindset. If they're going to get swing and misses on that slider, you know he's going to go to that well. They are going to have to be willing to take the ball the other way and stay back on that heater, or they are not going to recognize that pitch. Two out, nobody on. 
struck him out. So it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Tigers failed to make any noise. They lead it one to nothing. Joe Jimenez enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 42, Joe Jimenez. Ready now, Jose Ramirez. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. He's set and the pitch. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. A ball and a strike. One and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. Not surprisingly, here this is on the ground to the right side. And that's out number one. Final line there for the Detroit starting pitcher. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Into the box, Oscar Mercado hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. One out, nobody on. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, and now the Indians are down to their final out. Now batting. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Last time through was a base hit. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Strike one to start the at bat. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. And he fouls this one off. Last strike now for Cleveland. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Hit to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one-nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. And that one run held up tonight. One-nothing the final. The Tigers led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Daniel Norris takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Joe Jimenez closes the door for the save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.